guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. Today, little Bessie and I are going to talk to you about the new mystery dog illness that's going around, what we know, what we don't know, and what you can do to protect your Sweetie Pie. So here's what we do know. So far, the illness has been reported in 14 US states, Europe, Mexico, Canada, and is spreading throughout the world. Number two, it's believed to be airborne and can spread through close contact between dogs. Number three, the mysterious illness is a respiratory infection, which is easily misdiagnosed as kennel cough. Number four, however, even though it seems like kennel cough, the infection does not respond to antibiotics the way that kennel cough does. Number five, some dogs recover on their own. However, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association, there have been several reported deaths. Number six, veterinarians and scientists are working quickly to identify this new illness so they can come up with an effective treatment and preventative measures. Number seven, you also need to consider if your sweetie pie has any pre-existing conditions, such as heart disease, or if they're elderly, or even a young puppy, such as little Bessie here. They will have a harder time fighting off this new infection, so be very careful with that. Number eight, and finally, according to Dr. Lisa Lippman, Director of Virtual Medicine at Bond Vet, because this new mystery illness is an upper respiratory disease, it puts flat-faced sweetie pies at higher risk. So that's great news for pear head lovers, but not such great news for baby doll face lovers like little Bessie. So since we don't yet have treatment, the best thing to do is just to avoid exposure altogether. That's right, we are at the beginning of stages of a doggy pandemic, so let's strap in and see what we can do to help our sweetie pies. The best thing you can do right now is to keep them segregated from other dogs. So this means no dog parks, no boarding, no grooming. <coughs> okay, okay, I get it. We can't just stop living our lives. Obviously, there are times we have no other choice but to board our sweetie pies. So don't feel guilty if you do. But keep in mind, where there's a lot of dogs in close space, it puts them at risk of catching all kinds of diseases, not just this new mystery illness. So make sure your dogs are all up to date with their vaccines, including Bordetella and Parainfluenza vaccines. This mystery disease could turn out to be a variant of an already existing disease. And if you do need to go on a trip, consider having someone come house sit with your dog rather than boarding them. Rover.com is an excellent resource if you're looking for a pet sitter. You just type in your zip code and the dates you need a sitter and up pops a list of all the available dog sitters, including their price, reviews, and their ratings. Another option would just be to take your doggy with you. That's the beauty of having a little sweetie pie. Because they are so small, it's super easy to travel with them. I fly with my chihuahuas all the time. Now don't avoid going to the vet when needed. However, to reduce the chance of exposure, it's a good idea to check in and then wait out in your car rather than in the waiting room. And do not let anyone except the doctor and the staff touch your baby because who knows what germs are on their hand. As a USDA licensed breeder, I do have a higher than normal amount of contact with new puppies and outside dogs. So I follow a very strict protocol of quarantining dogs that I handle. I don't let my chihuahuas come in contact with any new dog. And if it's a new chihuahua that I'm handling for several days, they are strictly kept away from all the others, even if they don't exhibit any signs of illness. We don't yet know how long the incubation period is for this mysterious new dog illness, so I utilize a seven day quarantine for all dogs coming in and out of my facility. I'll continue to research and keep you guys updated as new information comes available. And if any of you have information or experience with it, please leave your comments so we can all learn together. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye. Say bye, Bessie. Say bye. Bessie's going to live with her new family next week. Wow, it's so exciting. I want to tell you guys about Save Dog and their line of treats and supplements. Save Dog and their wonderful line of products is actually a rescue relocation program to rescue and rehome at-risk dogs. I had the great honor to meet their founder, John Thomas, on a video call. And he told me all about Save Dog and their mission, which is to transport adoptable dogs from the overcrowded southern states to the rescue organizations in the northern states where there are frankly not enough rescue dogs for families to adopt. What a great idea for a rescue! Now the amazing thing about Save Dog is that they actually created this line of product to help fund their rescue organization. So they do not charge any money to take all these pets from the southern states up to the rescues in the northern states. But this is how they fund their project. 
So 100% of all profits on the sales of their line of products do go to fund Save Dogs Relocation Program. 100%. To date, they have transported over 5,000 homeless dogs from the South to the North for placement and adoption. So if you've ever been interested in helping a rescue program, as well as getting some great treats and shoes for your sweetie pie, then look no further than Save Dog. Save Dog gets my sweetie pie pet seal of approval. Use the link in the description below to support Save Dog by purchasing one of their products. Margaret, do you want to try the prebiotic and probiotic? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Right, so what do you think? Don't drop it. Oh, good girl. All right, Marco gives it a thumbs up. Good girl, Marco. Probiotics and prebiotics are healthy for our gut. It's going to keep you regular and it's just going to be amazing. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye. Say bye, Marco. Say bye.